Now, our kids all have devices these days, which is good. They need to keep up to date with technology. But we do need to keep them safe, and cyberbullying is one of the issues that they face. In the coffee group today, we have psychologist Sarah Chatwin. But first, Martin Cocker from Internet Safety Organisation, NetSafe. Martin, good morning to you. Can you tell me exactly what is cyberbullying? Well, cyberbullying in practical terms is just using technology to harm another person, whether you're embarrassing them or, or isolating them. But it's just use of technology to harm somebody. Okay. Sarah, what kind of damage can this sort of thing cause? Well, I mean, I love the internet and we all use Dr Google around the cafe, don't we? All the time. But the dark side of it is that, you know, you can make kids feel very low of self-esteem, lacking in confidence. They can feel so targeted, so alone. They don't want to share cyberbullying with their friends because it makes them very uncool. So it can have a lot of damage. OK. Martin, what would you kind of say is, like, what sort of terms are used for cyberbullying? Oh, I mean, kids use all sorts of different yeah. technologies and, and whatever term uh, hurts the people that they're targeting or, or, or whatever thing they think will embarrass them the most. But mm. uh, like I say, you know, sometimes uh, cyberbullying is simply isolating somebody from a group and not sending them a message. So uh, it's not specific to a, a, a type of attack, but the use of technology to harm people. Yeah, just by omitting them, I mm. say. I mean, it is, it's something that I think a lot of people ha are dealing with, not just children, actually, but we need to teach them young how to deal with it so perhaps when they grow up they're not going to become these bullies. What should we do if we think our children are being targeted? Well, if our kids are being targeted, we will probably recognise some behaviours. They might be withdrawn, moody. They'll present in a way that makes you as a parent go, oh, I wonder what's going on here. So have the conversation. As a parent, you are the architect of your children's destiny. You need to be there. You need to be watching what they're looking at on the internet. Having a bit of a handle on that. And then have the conversation with your child. Just find out what's going on because it's really important, as you say, to knock this on the head You know, at the beginning beginning so that they don't become bullies or they don't get bullied in the workplace, mm -hmm. they don't get bullied in relationships and conversely, you know, if we have a, a bully in our family, you know, it's up to the parent to actually take control of that situation. It can be very tough though with a child because you say if they're a bit moody and a bit funny, I mean they had a certain age and they're all a bit moody and a There's bit a few funny. hormones going around. Exactly. That, that's right. Yeah, yeah, of course. So if you try to give parents a top 10 tips for how to spot your child's being cyberbullied, they'll, they'll definitely miss it. Best thing to do is to talk to, you, to, your, to your child about their experiences and their friends' experiences and then analyse their answers. You know, if they're talking about a friend, they're really talking about themselves. When a child's being cyberbullied, split the problem into two. The first half is, you know, looking after the child and their well-being and the other the half is dealing with the cyber issues so you can have content removed you know you can have things blocked but but do separate it into those two halves and deal with them separately okay uh, you as a parent should you be taking charge and actually dealing with the person who's bullying your child or should you let the child go through those that process it's a negotiation isn't it because you as a parent know your child the best so you might choose to go to the school and have a conversation with teachers and take it to a higher level but I think it first starts with you talking to your child about it negotiating a way through for both of you so that the child feels comfortable with the way and the method that you use to deal with the situation situation okay. yeah what if your child is the bully I know that's a disaster isn't it as parents we look at ourselves and go oh my goodness how did this happen but of course you know there are lots of bullies living in lots of families mm -hmm. so it, it's not something to be ashamed of it's something to to get in hand it's something to to move with and work with and to teach your child that this is not acceptable many schools and organizations have said bullying not acceptable we're drawing a line in the sand so in your family you have to draw that line in the sand it is not acceptable okay, at least they're aware of it too I think a lot of children are aware of it Martin how do we keep them safe Oh, look, have the conversation with them about these issues, you know, get to know the technology that they use and then talk to them about the things that they think might go wrong. Uh, do your research before you give them devices and, and set them free on the internet. Yeah, set them free on the internet. Okay, well, Sarah and Martin, it has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for Thanks, joining me. Mel. Could talk about this for a long time.